Hi, my name is Mimo Baronello and I'm a fine art artist and this is my studio. I decided to paint full time after my mother died uh, about six years ago because having a conversation with her she said, I know you're a very good designer, Mimo, I know you love your job as an art director, but you know you always run to painting. So please take it from me. Life is too short. You need to do what you really love primary. So about six years ago, I've been focused mainly on my art, on my painting art. I'm born and raised in Sicily. I did move to Milan for, for university, for, for the academy, but Baroque was something I always surrender. When you're a Southern Italian, especially Sicilian, the amount of symbols and curly cue and decoration, it's all over to you. So I, I think it's still my own way to feel a little bit connected with the island that I'm from. <music> All my painting, above all, they have a symbol of hope. Although I paint the tension between nature and humanity, all my painting has a symbol of hope. So the eggs or the crowns, or even, the, it always represents uh, hope because eggs represent life. So nature will reborn again and we are part of the nature. So one of the things that uh, people can pass by, they think they're just an object there for prettiness. It is why I have always an egg or fruit or uh, a flower about the head. It is this connection that our intellect and nature will be born together, you know what I mean? And, and, and the eggs in general means beauty and perfection. And a life is perfection if you will respect life in general. <laughs> The drapery to give this sense of royalty. So my, my animal, I have that kind of, you know, the king or the gods or the saint they arrive to save the world. And, and that is represented. In my, all my painting lately, I've been incorporate, for example, the light bulb that born from a plant. I call that nature morphing. So the nature will kind of morphing in something, you know what I mean? Because we've been creating so much pollution or so much chemical pollution, the nature will learn how to take that and morphing in something. The light bulb, the idea came because they just look like a blossom. So it's kind of like, again, to go back to what is that question mark? It is a blossom that will bring light. It is a blossom that will maybe bring, absorb light. It will give light, it will absorb light. Where the, where the energy comes and the idea then, the, the light bulb are connected to the plant is this idea that there is this wire, like a plant has a roots and take the energy. We have to be very conscious even our, our energy consumption. So then I kind of morphing the two together. You know? So people always ask me why you have a light bulb. The shape, it looks very natural, but in the meantime, it's very industrial, it's very us. So it's kind of a good combination between modern and natural, between, you know, need for energy, but also need for light. And so I find this an interesting symbols.